Based on the location of your knee pain, you can tell a lot about where the potential knee pain is coming from. So this is the outside of my knee. The meniscus acts as a circular disc that comes around this way. It goes around the front of the knee and comes around the inside and basically surrounds the knee in this plane. You have cartilage in this plane deep to the patella that cushions the end of the femur between the patella. So this is the cartilage going this direction and this is the meniscus going this direction. Meniscus issues, you some, sometimes people can perceive in this plane, deep in this level here, and they will have limited range of motion because the meniscus gets stuck. So you won't be able to bring your heel to your butt cheek. Cartilage issues here, when inflamed, will also prevent the heel from getting the butt. But you can get full range of motion back, although you will still have symptoms over the long term, over months if not years, when you have a cartilage tear or a cartilage fraying. Patellofemoral, pat, excuse me, patellofemoral disorder can also occur across the top usually the top portion of patella as it grinds across the condyles of the femur, the long bone there. And then of course you have IT band syndrome, which can occur usually along the bottom portion of the IT band. It doesn't occur as much along the proximal portion. If you have symptoms in the back of your knee and your range of motion is limited, that is also probably a meniscus or arthritic issue. If you have symptoms in the back of the knee but your range of motion isn't limited and bringing your heel to your butt does not provoke symptoms, that could be a sciatic nerve issue right in the meaty portion of the knee there. I hope that's a good summary of the location of knee injuries and have an awesome day. Bye. Boop.